All right, let's begin the show. Tonight, Gibran did an oopsie. Anis fires a shot. And Ganjar, the master chef. So stupid. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy B. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about politics, nutrition, food. I have a take on the current situation. The title is obviously a clickbait. Uncle B is a fair guy. I go after everybody unless they're doing a good job. So, as you may all know, Gibran mistakenly said uh, sulfuric acid as opposed to folic acid recently. And then Anis fires a shot, a bit of a nudge. So today we're going to be talking about that. And I also have a take on a folic acid and the difference between synthetic folic acid uh, supplementation and actual folic acid found in whole foods. Before we start, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos again and new subscribers. Welcome. Much appreciated. For those of you who just found this channel, this is an English speaking channel. Yes, I'm Indonesian. And the reason this channel is in English, I already made a whole video about that. Long story short, it's just my way of curating my audience, right? This is a niche YouTube channel. Niche video buat orang-orang Indonesia yang bisa bahasa Inggris. All right, let's begin. Keliru, Gibran sebut ibu hamil butuh asam sulfat. Here we go. Right. Calon Wakil Presiden nomor urut 2 Gibran Raka Buming Raka melakukan belusukan di Tangerang pada Senin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ditemani istrinya Selvi Ananda, Gibran menyapa warga dan santri di kawasan Poris Gaga sambil membagikan susu dan buku tulis kepada anak-anak. Yes, Dalam kunjungannya itu, Gibran menyoroti persoalan stunting di tanah air. Right. Gibran sempat salah ucap dengan menyebut ibu hamil memerlukan asam sulfat untuk mencegah stunting. Padahal yang dibutuhkan ibu hamil adalah asam folat. Nanti kalau sudah menikah, sudah hamil, okay. harus dicek uh, apa? Yodium, asam sulfat ini memenuhi enggak? Oh. Nanti kalau sudah melahirkan, anaknya harus dicek juga. Di sela olahraga bersama mantan atlet Taufik Hidayat di Gelora Bung Karno, Gibran meminta maaf atas salah ucapnya itu. Oke, okay, so he didn't oopsie, which is very acceptable considering this is the biggest political stage. And it's very easy to get nervous. Public speaking is not easy, especially in a political stage. Me as a YouTuber, influencer, public speaker, I've had uh, the opportunity to speak in front of a large audience before. And let me tell you, it's not easy, especially with this high level of stress where everybody's trying to attack you find your mistakes, looking, digging for whatever they could use against you. So it's a fickle. This is a very understandable mistake. And considering that he's young, like 36, right? Some say this proves he's too young. He's not ready yet for this level. Anybody at any age can do a simple slip ups, especially both two words are very similar. I'm not defending anybody. To be fair, he did apologize. To me, it's water under the bridge. Just It's just media needs clicks. Everybody just trying to make this a bigger deal than it actually is. Unless he's saying stuff that are scientifically inaccurate, then it would be fair to go deeper into that, which we will talk about folic acid, uh, methylation process, and all that later. Now, let's <laughs> let's see. Anis firing a shot. Lambetura, shout out. Stunting itu sebelum ibu hamil. Ingat-ingat nih, sebelum ibu hamil. Jadi kesehatan calon ibu itu sudah harus dipikirkan. Ke calon ibu nih, baru calon ibu. Yes, yes, Dan yes. calon ibu itu membutuhkan itu tadi. Apa tadi yang sebutkan? Satu adalah zat besi. Correct. Dibutuhkan sekali. Yes, sir. Zat besi. Zat Very besi important. dapatnya dari mana? Beef. Ya, Meat. Dari daging, hmm. dari dari makanan. Kemudian yang kedua adalah yodium. Correct. Kita tahu yodium. Yang hmm. ketiga asam folat. Asam folat itu didapatnya dari tanaman, bukan di bengkel. <laughs> Nggak ada asam folat itu. Bukan asam sulfat berarti ya. Asam folat. Asam folat. He saw an opportunity and he took the shot. <laughs> Not the classiest move, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, a lot of people ask me, who am I voting for next year? 
It's a fair question, and I try to avoid politics as much as possible. But here's what I got to say about Anis here. I am born and raised in Jakarta. I was born in 1990, and I have experienced a few governors since then. And I would say Anis is not the worst. Terima kasih Pak Anis sudah bikin kemang trotoarnya jadi bagus. But other than that, I don't actually know what he's doing. Please let me know in the comments down below. Buzzer buzzernya Pak Anis, silahkan. This is just my personal opinion, but to me, his body language, his facial expression, and the way he delivers his points doesn't vote confidence to me. I'm not saying he's not confident, but I think the future president needs to be more stoic needs to have a more neutral facial expressions and a more assertive body language. And in my humble opinion, this isn't it. Okay, now let's talk about folic acid. There's a significant difference, the difference between synthetic folic acid that are found in supplements and folic acid found in whole foods. Okay, so let's start with talking about methylation in human body. What is methylation? So basically, anything that you consume, food, beverages, vitamins, minerals, whatever, needs to go through a process called methylation in your body so that your body can filter whatever it is that you consume to be a final product that your body can use. Again, let's consult the smartest person I know, ChatGPT. Methylation in human metabolism. Methylation is a biochemical process in which methyl group is added to molecule in context of the human body and food conversion. So like I said, anything that you consume needs to be converted through this methylation process. And methylation plays a cr crucial role in various metabolic pathways. It is involved in the synthesis of neurotransmitter, DNA hormones, and me metabolism of certain nutrients. Methylation helps convert homocysteine, an amino acid, into methionine, which is then used for protein synthesis. Additionally, methylation is essential for the production of s adeno so methionine, a compound that serves as methyl donor for various reactions in the body. This process influences gene expression, cell repair, and the overall functioning of the nervous and cardiovascular system. Imbalances in methylation can impact health and are associated with conditions like cardiovascular disease and neurological disorder. So I asked ChatGPT again. Uh, there is said to be a new study that found folic acid cannot be methylated by the human body. Folic acid, a synthetic form of folate, does, does require several enzymatic steps to be converted into an active form. 5-methyl-tetrahydrofolate. So 5-MTHF, this is the folic acid that are natural, found in food. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the synthetic folic acid needs to be methylate to be confirmed into this, the 5-MTHF, so that it can be uh, used. It's not accurate to say that the human body cannot methylate folic acid. Most people can convert folic acid to its active form through a series of reaction involving system. The key word here is most people. So not everybody, but most people. That being said, some individuals, again, here, here's what I'm talking about, due to genetic variations and other, other factors may have a reduced ability to convert folic acid effi efficiently. In such cases, supplementing with the active form of folate, 5-MTHF directly may be more beneficial. It's essential to note that dietary folate found in natural food source like leafy greens, legumes, is often in the forms of 5-MTHF and does not require the methylation process. This is the supplementation version. These are just some of the brands that I find Googling not to, you know, attack anybody. And foods that contain natural 5-MTHF uh, are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, leafy greens, vegetables, cabbage, kale, spring greens, and spinach, peas, chickpeas, and kidney beans. Liver, but avoid this during pregnancy. Breakfast cereals fortified with folic acid. Okay, now let's move on to peer-reviewed journals. Here's the first journal that I want to talk about. Published in 2018, May 16, 2018, folic acid and primary prevention of neural tube defects. So it is true. Neural tube defects uh, is found in pregnancy. So yes, it is necessary for pregnant mothers or expecting mothers to consume folic acid. Here's the abstract. I will link every reading material here in the description down below if you want to read the entirety of it. But we're just going to read the abstract for now. Four milligrams of folic acid daily. It may take 20 weeks to reach red blood cell folate levels between 1050 and 1340 nmol per liter. I guess, I don't know, optimal for the reduction of the neural tube defect risk. Yes, so it is important. Therefore, folic acid supplementation should be started five, six months before conception. Notice supplementation, which uh, are this one here, the synthetic ones. Uh, I will elaborate further, just bear with me. Five, six months before conception, sebelum hamil, you need to increase your intake of folic acid because then, because the residual risk with optimal red blood cell folates 
is reportedly 4.5 per 10,000 solo bird. So basically, this just says, yes, it is true. Expecting mothers need to up their folic acid and take five, six months before conception. However, folic acid and 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate are not the same thing. Uh, the folic acid here are the synthetic ones. Most people can convert and use through uh, the methylation process, but the methyl tetrahydrofolate are the ones found in whole foods. Uh, this is published in 2014. Folate, an essential micronutrient, is a critical factor in one carbon metabolism. Mammals cannot synthesize folate and depends on supplementation to maintain normal levels. Low folate status may be caused by low dietary in intake, poor absorption of ingested folate, and alteration of folate metabolism due to genetic defects and drug generation. Folate deficiency has been linked with an increased risk of neural tube defects, cardiovascular disease, cancer, and cognitive dysfunction. Most countries have established recomm recommended intakes of folate through folic acid supplements or fortified foods. External supplementation of folate may, may occur as folic acid, folinic acid, or 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. Naturally occurring 5-MTAHF has important advantage over synthetic folic acid. Here's the point. Naturally occurring 5-MTHF, which are found in whole foods, has important advantages over synthetic folic acid. Oke, okay, buat yang ngerti bahasa Inggris, jadi lebih penting, lebih baik yang folat dari makanan whole foods, not the synthetic folic acids. I'm also gonna link this in the description down below. Feel free for you guys if you want to read the whole thing. So there you go. I agree with the politicians discussing the importance of folic acid in expecting murder to prevent stunning. But to close this video, I just want to say that I am not interested in watching politicians talk about stunning because to me, the more important issue that we need to bring up, how is our future leader, whoever that may be, plans to make money? Indonesia has been investing so much money in the past few years. I am really curious in watching the debate between the presidential candidate, what's your plan to make money, right? That's the most important thing to me is what's your business plan? How are you gonna make this country profitable? Because every single issue that we need to solve requires money. So please debate on that. How are you guys planning on making money? Jadi nanti kalau misalnya udah jelas, kita tinggal pilih siapa nih yang business plannya paling bagus. Supaya apa? Supaya duit kita banyak, kita bisa supply masyarakat-masyarakat yang mengalami stunting dengan material-material makanan yang baik. Brokoli, Brussels sprouts, leafy greens, dan lain sebagainya. Nanti kalau bahan materialnya udah kumpul, kita kasih ke Pak Ganjar biar beliau yang masak. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? This whole shenanigans let me know who you think is the best candidate to be the next president of indonesia and i want to know why all right